my name is Mike Gambone, and I teach at Kutztown University. Um, I'm just finishing up my 30th year here, so it went really fast. Um, this has become kind of like a third career for me. Um, I started doing Latin American history, but I was on sabbatical a long time, about eight years ago, ran into a friend. And I'm sure most of you guys have somebody like this, you know, who they believe in every single conspiracy that ever existed. And they send you links and updates and YouTube and all the rest of it. And I had no idea this stuff even existed, honestly, because I'm in my bubble. Um, so it got me curious. And I conjured up a class. I started offering it. And right now, uh, this semester, I have 140 students who signed up for it. So the class became the book, the book I'm using in class. And I found out that people are really, really, really interested in this. Um, and I could even add more to that because in 2020, I decided to volunteer to work at polling places and found plenty of conspiracies in the election. Um, people were walking up to me, uh, papers in hand, trying to show them to me while they voted. And I've seen that ever since, actually, you know, matters a degree, but um, I'm still working at the polls. I'm looking forward to exactly the same thing this year. Not really happy about it, but, you know, I think having discussions about this in class and outside is really important. So I wrote the book. I basically tried to write it like I teach. And that was nice because talking to students, I think, is the best way to try to communicate. And I pursued a bunch of different case studies. You, you know, if I see the book right there. Um, yeah, I mean, some of them, they're old and important like the protocols. Uh, some, of them are, some of them are very crazy, like chemtrails. Um, some of them, to be honest, are hard to write about. I had I did a chapter on Sandy Hook that the publisher wanted because we, you know, your students, we're educators, we're part of that story, like it or not. Um, so we dove into it. And I'm covering Sandy Hook this semester like I will every semester. So we're doing 9-11 now. And, um, you know, a lot of, well, obviously all you people in the classroom weren't born, I think, with, well, maybe your teacher, I'm assuming he's, he's not that old, but um, I have freshmen who were born in 2005. So, you know, this is not a memory to them. This is um, kind of an abstract thing like the Middle Ages or the Alamo. Um, and I was even saying, I said in a few years, I'll be teaching students who were born after COVID, um, which is interesting. Time passes. But the conspiracies roll on and, you know, I'm always adding more to the list. I'm up, I'm actually updating that book even uh, now because events are fast. Uh, things change. Uh, we have a lot of court cases now. Uh, even more evidence comes to light. So, yeah, that's kind of the brief gist of it.